The authorities are clamping down on criminal activities taking place in vacant buildings, in industrial areas, including premises that have been used by illegal immigrants as hideouts. The Singapore Police Force and the Immigration and Checkpoints Authority ICA on December 5 conducted an operation, with assistance from JTC Corporation, to flush out unauthorized individuals, including illegal immigrants, in the Sanjay Kadut Industrial Estate area. The media was allowed to visit the sites after law enforcement officers completed their search of the premises. No one was arrested during the operation, but officers found a range of items that suggested one vacant building in the area was used as a drug den and a concealed drain measuring about 90 cm wide and 2 m high was used as a hideout. The drain sits about 100 m from a two-story building which previously housed factories. The building is surrounded by a fence and locked gates, but the drain was accessible through a metal manhole cover. Metal steps inside the drain led the Straits Times into a labyrinth of dark passages. About 10 m in, ST spotted them clothes hanging on a nylon string and a single mattress on a makeshift bed comprising wooden planks. There were empty plastic bottles and a small medicine vial on the bed. Plastic bags and pieces of cloth were stuffed into several plastic pipes nearby, likely to prevent water from seeping into the drain. ST spotted more clothing items hung up to dry in the first ATM from the manhole. There were also duffel bags and a bicycle without a wheel. The stale, foul smell in the drain was inescapable. Above ground, the vacant factory building nearby also showed signs that illegal immigrants could have hidden there. Inside, there were cigarette butts, beer cans and tissue paper littered on the ground. The occupants had carved large holes in the walls, presumably for a quick getaway during a raid. During the operation, police also activated their K-9 unit and an unmanned aerial vehicle or drone to search the area for individuals who may have been in hiding. There were signs in another vacant building nearby that suggested it had been used as a drug den. Police officers found suspected controlled drugs, drug paraphernalia and also knives. The drug case has been referred to the Central Narcotics Bureau. Assistant Commissioner Ong Eng Sung, commander of Woodlands Division, said the operation on December 5 was an example of the police working closely with government agencies to clamp down on unlawful activities. Figures released by ICA earlier in 2023 showed that 57 illegal immigrants were arrested in 2022. This compares with 56 arrested the previous year and 57 napped in 2020. It is illegal to enter waterways such as drains, without approval, and offenders may be fined up to $3,000. Those found guilty of willful trespass on property may face a fine of up to $1,000.